Each time you apply a new theme to your slides, a Slide Master appears in the background. Now we can't see it right now, but the Slide Master stores information about the theme such as font style, colors, effects, placeholder size, text alignment, and more. So what can you do with the Slide Master? Well, imagine that you like this theme, but you want to change specific design elements. Maybe you want your slide titles to be center aligned instead of left aligned, or a square bullet instead of a circle. Or maybe you want to add a line under each slide title. Well, how can you make changes like these without changing each slide individually? The answer is simple. Make the changes on the Slide Master. You can use the Slide Master to change any of these themes, or you can select the Office theme and basically design your own slides from scratch. Since the Office theme has a default white background and Calibri font, it's like having a blank canvas to work with. Let's take a look at the Slide Master. Just select View on the ribbon and click the Slide Master command in the Presentation Views group. This opens the Slide Master view so that you can change the design and layouts of the master slides. You'll see that after we clicked the command, a new Slide Master tab appeared as the active tab on the ribbon. This look is similar to normal view, but we aren't looking at our actual slides. We're looking at the master slides. We have a pane on the left that includes thumbnail images of the slides and a main slide pane. The slide that is selected on the left is the one that is displayed in the slide pane, just like in normal view. This first slide that is selected is the Slide Master. All the slides beneath this one that are connected with brackets are supporting layouts. If you hover over them, screen tips explain that they are masters for various layouts. We can see that the title and contents layout is used by several slides in our presentation. The section header layout is used by only two slides and this title only layout is not used in our presentation. If you want to make a change to all the slides in the presentation, you will edit the slide master. Let's go ahead and do that. Do you remember that I said the default font for the office theme is called Calibri? Let's change that for all the slides and make some other formatting changes. In Slide Master View, select the Slide Master. Now in the Edit Theme group, just click the Fonts command. As I hover over each, a live preview of the fonts will appear on the master slide. I like this one that uses the Lucida font. Now I can see that it has changed on the Slide Master and in all the layouts. Let's make another change to all our slides that will be more noticeable. I want to change the title of each slide so that text is left aligned and the font's color is orange. First, I need to select the title on the Slide Master. I can't make this change from the Slide Master tab like I could with the Fonts theme change, so I need to click the Home tab to access the commands I need. When I do this, the Slide Master and Layouts remain in the pane on the left because we are still in Slide Master view, even though we aren't using that tab right now. I can use the Fonts Color command in the Fonts group to change the title text to orange and the Alignment commands to left align the title text on all the slides. Once I make these changes on the Home tab, I can select the Slideshow View command and see those changes on the slides. 
the font is different and the titles are orange and left aligned. When you are ready, you can just press the Escape key and return to the Slide Master tab. There is one more thing I want to add to all the slides, and that is our company logo. If the Slide Master isn't selected in the pane on the left, go ahead and select it. Since we want to insert our company logo, which is a picture, we'll just need to select the Insert tab and click the Picture command in the Illustrations group. The Insert Picture dialog box appears, and we just need to locate the picture file on our computer. Once you do, just select it, and then click Insert. The picture will appear on the slide, and you can just drag and drop it to the location you wish. I want it in the lower right corner of every slide. Now, if we want to see our actual slides, we can view them in Slide Show View, or we can return to Normal View. If you are already on the Slide Master tab, you can just click the Close the Master View command to return to Normal View. If this tab isn't active, you can just click the Normal View command at the bottom of the window. Now you can see that the logo appears on each slide. So now that you know how to change all the slides using the Slide Master, what if you only want to change elements on a specific layout? For example, what if I want to change the font's color and formatting on the slides with the section header layout? We'll go back to the Slide Master view by selecting the View tab and clicking the Slide Master command. In the pane on the left, we'll select the section header layout and then select the text you want to modify on the slide. To change the font's formatting, I'll need to select the Home tab. From here, I can use the Fonts Color command to change the color and click the Text Shadow command to add a shadow to the text on the slides that use the section header layout. Once you've made all the formatting changes, just select Normal View to close the Master View and see that the two slides with the section heading layout, slides 3 and 8, both have the new formatting. You can also insert a shape. For example, I want to add a solid accent line to the slides that use the two content layout. To do this, we'll just go back to our Slide Master view and select the two contents layouts in the pane. You can see that this layout is used for slides 4 and 5, so my line will appear on these two slides. I want to insert a line, which is a shape, so I'll select the Insert tab and then click the Shape command. From the menu, I'll select this simple line, and my cursor turns to a crosshair. Now just click and drag to insert to the line where you wish on the slide. Release the button when the line is the desired length. Just a little tip, sometimes it is difficult to make a straight line. If you press and hold the Shift key while you insert the line, it will be straight. Okay, now we have inserted the shape. If you want to format it, just make sure it is selected and then select the Format tab to access the drawing tools. From here, you can change the line weight and color using the Shape Outline command. You can even make it a dashed line. We'll select Normal View, and now we can see the new accents line on the slides. 
Hmm, I think I'll add a few more lines under these other titles. There are many other things you can do using the commands on the Slide Master tab, but being able to make changes to the existing Slide Master is a key task. You may never have a reason to use a slide master, but it is important for you to know that you can modify an existing theme if there is something you want to change. Practice making these types of changes to the slide master and then use these skills to make other changes such as modifying the bullets or inserting a footer on all the slides. As you practice, you'll see that the slide master can allow you to customize your slides and save time.